So we're here at Le Web 2012. So you were on stage just before. Yes. What were you talking about? I was talking about okay. thought control so computing and showing the Muse. So the Muse is our beautiful new four sensor headband that reads your brain waves and allows you to interact wirelessly with content on your smartphone or tablet. So what is going on here? So there you've got sensors on your forehead and more sensors behind your ears. Sensors behind the ears? Yep. Is that uh, like this metallic part? Yep, that's a sensor as well. So it allows you to read the differential and signal between your forehead and your ears, between and your frontal and temporal lobes. And what, what kind of information is between your frontal and what do you, what do you say? Temporal. Temporal. So we're reading your brain waves. Brain waves are the sum total of the activity going on inside your head, your neuronal activity. Sum total? Yes. What does that mean? Like so neurons everything? are communicating in like grand sequence. They're firing back and forth. And so the overall electrical energy of your brain, we pick up from outside of your head as your brain waves with a device like this, which slips on just like a pair of glasses. And, and measuring brain waves yep. has been going on for a while, right? Absolutely. And where? Who does that? Oh, people have been measuring brain waves since, you know, the 1920s. It's a really? standard technology that's used in hospitals and labs. People started working with brainwave control technology as early as the 70s. Control? And it, yeah, and it was progressing really slowly. And the major innovation that's happening now is the ability to have devices like this in everybody's hands so that we can all engage with technology. So this connects to... Actually, I think uh, my application just closed as I was chatting, so I dropped the connection. Yeah, here, I'll, in a moment I'll reconnect it for you and I can show you. So, what do we see here? So this is a smartphone. My yeah. brainwave headband is connecting wirelessly to the iPhone here. With Bluetooth? Via Bluetooth. And it's showing my brainwaves. So you saw a blink, 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 blink. Blink, blink, like when you, when you blink your when eyes? When I blink, yep, you can yeah. see you can see the interaction on screen, so you can see that it's live. And then from here we can take this information and create applications based on it. So we take this brainwave signal and we parse it up. Um, right now I'm not getting awesome, beautiful signal, but um, you take this brainwave signal and you can parse it up and create very simple control interactions, um, as well as actually being able to show you what's going on inside your own mind. Show you what goes on inside. What kind of measurements can you get? Just like. You, you, you measure blinking? How, how, how does that work? Well, blinking is just muscle noise. Like, blinking is not is not brain activity. Yeah? We just do it to show you that this is actually live and that it's you. And what other kinds of things does so it measure? So the things that you can primarily... So you can measure everything. What we can actually identify is a much, much, much smaller subset. So you can identify general states, like the state of focus or the state of relaxation. You can identify... Um, Markers of salience, like things that you notice in the environment, those are P300 waves, and you get those primarily from the back of the head. So we can um, begin to see some, you know, markers inside of our brains, which we can then use to learn about ourselves and our interactions. Does that mean that future versions of the software will understand more and more about our brains with the same hardware? Absolutely. You don't need a more sensitive uh, measurement device? Or well, the more sensors more. that you have, the more you can do. But yeah. we found that four sensors is a great balance. You have enough sensors to be able to do things like, you know, left-right hemispheric specialization, to start to I do some volumetric calculations because you've got more than one sensor, so you can get, um, you can do sort of like triangulation, you can think of it like that. Um, and over time, we'll discover what you can learn from your own mind. So what have uh, people in hospitals been doing with this kind of technology since the 20s. What, what, what is it for? Well, at first EG was simply about measurement and identifying, you know, brain disorders and brain functioning, whether you are going to have a seizure, for example. Um, over time, when people started to look at control paradigms, you had implantable technology that gives you better resolution to control things like robotic arms. Um, and then you have this, like, surface of the skull EEG technology that gives you um, good spatial resolution. Uh, good temporal resolution, sorry, like good resolution in time so that you can begin to correlate events in your brain with events in the world. So how heavy is this? How, how, how big is this device? Uh, the device is like small and light. Yeah. Small and light? Yeah. Uh, this is a prototype? This is a prototype. And uh, what are you planning? Are you planning a Kickstarter? Uh, we currently have an Indiegogo campaign. Indiegogo? So you can visit uh, indiegogo.com slash interaxonmuse. And uh, how much? Um, it's MSRP is one ninety nine, and on Indiegogo you can get it for the next four days. It only goes till December seventh for like a hundred and fifty dollars. Hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. And how soon do you 
is a mass manufacturer? Uh, mass, mass manufacturer starts in uh, early 2013 and you get them by July. You did, sorry? You'll get them by July. By July. All right. So uh, you were showing on stage, for example, mm -hmm. while you type. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be for gaming. It could be for video chats. For video chats, it can be for you know self discovery, for improving your cognitive functioning, your emotional intelligence. So you could wear it while you work, and then it'll, it'll guide you. It'll tell you you should try to drink stuff or get uh, get. Well, first you can wear it while you work and just track what your brain is doing, and then over time you can look back at that information, and you can start to pull out patterns and see when your brain functioning is at its optimal, when you have your highest focus or engagement. Cool. So looking forward to this. Cool. But you wouldn't Thank be you. able to just like start typing without typing. Right? No, no, no. We, we can't. We can't think and type now. Give okay. it, you know, ten or fifteen years. Ten or fifteen years with this hardware, just new software, right? Well, I imagine the hardware is going to, you know, Update develop significantly over the next fifteen years as well. All right.